So we're doing a uh, pre-drywall inspection for a new home in Southern Indiana and this one is spray foamed and most of it looks pretty good in the exterior walls. But then we get to these vaulted ceilings and whenever you do um, a vaulted ceiling with spray foam, it needs to be completely separated from the main attic space. I don't know if you can see up here, you can actually see the gap between the foam and the framing that goes up into the main attic and that needs to be completely sealed off. So unless the foam company comes back and seals that off, they're going to have attic air that bypasses through the spray foam, basically negating all the work that was done here. The other thing that you can see is right here where the foam kind of separated from the wood and it's just, it just looks thin overall. Um, you know, an R19 on a, on a vaulted ceiling is the minimum that you can get away with in our climate zone for the energy code here. So um, not sure if it was sprayed when it was really cold and the foam shrunk a bit, but uh, we see this fairly often in this application. So this is why we come out and inspect.